morning, Good morning guys. guys. Welcome to today. Girl. Good morning, Ellie girl. Good morning. Somebody woke up nice and early this morning. Isn't that right? 6.30? Yeah, 6.30. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking Such a good sleep. Look at those toes. Look at those toes. <laughs> she slept on her tummy, so you can see like the red from the imprint of her like sleeping on her face. And she also had a bath, so she's a little fuzzy head. Fuzzy cutie head. Look, <laughs> she's up on her knees. Caleb. <laughs> what are you doing? What did I tell you about doing anything without my presence? <laughs> hey. you, you came so hey. fast, actually. Yeah, I know. I'm always fast whenever you say anything about Nova. <laughs> what are you oh, doing? What are you doing? So since this little girl decided to grow up overnight, and she's super active right now, we went and got this mat. So it's a reversible one. On the other side, there's like a track, which is awesome, which will be so much fun. Put all your toys uh, on, yeah. your cars, and everything, huh? This one, I'll link it down below. It was a little bit pricey. We used that like 20% off Bye Bye Baby coupon, uh, but it was important to us to get a non-toxic, non durable, good, good quality mat. And aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> I mean, that does play a bit of a part. It's comfortable, it? hey? You've been spending the last what two three days just roaming around on it mm -hmm. that's a yes that's a yes <laughs> it looks like a no but it's a yes. so nova tell me are you crawling this week because she's still a little out of you know she just had what like an almost two hour nap yeah thank goodness <gasps> get you in there <laughs> If you can crawl before I go back to work, since I have this week off for holidays, that no, would be great. No, 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 we don't want her to crawl. We're not ready. Yeah, but I don't want her to crawl when I'm at work. <laughs> yeah. And we did start looking at baby gates because, obviously, she's very close to crawling. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to have to get a couple of those. Three, in fact. I know, because you're going to be moving all over. She loves her papa. It is the best thing ever. She's always hamming it up whenever he's around. This is such a little hair, hey? Oh, I love it. Okay, she does this thing where she chews her inner mouth, like, <laughs> like she's actually chewing gum or something, but there's no food, there's nothing in there, and she just, <laughs> I love it so much when you do that. And then the other thing that she's been doing lately is scrunching her little nose. Yeah, let's see if we can get her to do it right now. <gasps> Who's the cutest little girl in this house? There's her chewing. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> So this week is going to be a good one because Caleb has the entire week off. Uh, it's his vacation time. We were thinking about, oh, sorry. <laughs> sitting down is hard. <laughs> we were thinking about going on a trip, making a trip out of it, uh, but couldn't swing it this time. Maybe next time. And we need to get Nova's passport before we can even leave yes, the country. Yes, we need to get a passport first before we even Which think about it. We should it. do that. Come here. Oh, that's nice and close. Good job. Good job. Choo! <laughs> Trying to make a baby laugh is the funniest because you just like make a fool out of yourself the whole time. Choo! 
<laughs> and yes, we see the cords back there. Yes, we are going to be changing that all up. But don't worry. If you've been around for a while, you know that I have a condition called endometriosis and I have stage three. So when I had my surgery, how long ago was that? 2016. 2016. I'll give a little backstory now just in case you don't know, but we were trying to conceive for a while already. Um, the doctors all said that I was fine, whatever that means, and that it was just male factor. And so we kind of went on with that whole diagnosis until one day I was like in excruciating pain, so much pain. I don't even know how to describe it really, but uh, I went in to the ER finally and after a whole day of just like writhing in pain because I'm, I just like have this attitude where I'm like, I have to tough everything out even though I don't always need to, like it's okay to seek help. Um, anyways, so we went to the ER and they assumed it was appendicitis because they did an ultrasound. My appendix was looking really inflamed and stuff. I went in for emergency surgery and a cyst had ruptured off my ovary, causing my appendix to be really irritated and stuff. So they took out my appendix that surgery. Uh, I woke up and basically have like the most devastating news of my whole life. <laughs> like really the doctor came in i was still kind of out of it and he said that i have this thing called endometriosis that my ovary is basically completely intertwined with it and that he recommends i get it taken out and if you've seen that video you can see like the real like raw vulnerable pain that i had um with finding that out and i was really devastated because obviously your ovary holds your eggs and your eggs are what's gonna make you a baby so to learn that you're gonna have half of that gone it was just really really scary for me so three months went by we then did the surgery for the endo and uh, got my ovary taken out and yeah that was crazy for me that was very traumatic I guess I went on a bunch of medication to try to suppress the endometriosis and stuff like that that it just like puts you in this menopausal state it's really wacky and I yeah I'm not excited for when menopause actually happens because I got a little taste of it and then we continue trying with different methods um, with conceiving and starting adoption process and everything uh, so it has been a long time since I've actually like done anything for my endometriosis and it's something that's always in the back of my mind that I'm always worried about is is it coming back am I one day going to lose my only ovary that I have left and completely close the door on using my own eggs in the future or anything like that. And so that's always like, it's literally one of my biggest fears is always in the back of my mind is that that's going to happen. And the thing is, is that's a pretty real possibility I feel like. And so that's probably why it's always weighing on me. Anyways, all of this to say that I have gotten my postpartum period now. I've had it twice. People always say with breastfeeding that you usually don't get it. And so I kind of just went on thinking that that was going to happen. I think I got it because there were less feedings happening through the night because she started sleeping better. And so I think that that's kind of why, uh, which stinks because it's like a trade-off. It's like, ooh, get more sleep, but get the period of death. Uh, it's a trade-off. <laughs> yeah. It's a good trade-up though, I don't mind. So with my periods coming back, that is a, starting to become a fear again, is is my endo just growing back and wreaking havoc in my system and I just don't know about it. Before I was pregnant actually, I asked my doctor to refer me to the specialist uh, and I was hoping that I would get in, but he, I guess, wasn't taking any more patients or something like that. So. It's something that I'm gonna have to start keeping an eye on, being proactive about. And I think all of this is definitely gonna play a factor in our next IVF transfer and like how soon or how far away we're gonna do it. Um, but I'm still thinking about that. I'll let you guys know kind of what our plan is soon probably. Yeah, anyways, I thought I would just give a little update, an endometriosis update because I know it has been a long time since I've even talked about it and of course being pregnant and everything I didn't it wasn't really on my mind because they say that uh, your symptoms kind of subside a bit when you're pregnant so now that I'm not I have to worry about it and that stinks endometriosis is such a hard condition it's debilitating comes with a lot of fear and 
a lot of misunderstanding and not enough support. So if you're in the same boat as me, I see you, I support you, and I hope that you find some answers soon. We can buy you all the toys in the world, but nothing will ever be as good as a pack of wipes. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have we ever shown you guys her eyelashes? I don't know if you can tell, but in some pictures you can really tell. They are so long and just so gorgeous. And your eyes are so blue. And she's growing in so much hair. Look at all of this hair up here, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I think, <laughs> she's like, mom. <laughs> I think that it's coming in pretty light. Like it's probably like a dirty blonde, I would think. Uh, so. It's so cute. I cannot wait to put it in little pigtails and braids and stuff. I'm so excited for that. I've always dreamed of doing that. You guys remember when she was a little baldy on the top and she had that little like old man hair? Oh, it was so cute. I remember just like hoping she would grow in some hair on top, but now that she does, I kind of miss that old man look. <laughs> Look at the red mark is still there from her sleeping on her face. Excuse me, where are we playing this again? <gasps> hello. <gasps> hello. Where'd Nova go? <gasps> there she is. <laughs> Aw, family cuddles. Anyways, you guys, I think that's gonna be it for us today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. We haven't said that in a while. So. <laughs> And you should subscribe if you haven't yet. We'd love to have you as part of our family and in future videos. <laughs>